All right, guys, check it out. I just made my smoothie. I try to make it very often. Some weeks I do it every day. But anyways, I'm just learning a lot about basically food and healthy foods. So I'm just gonna give you a little bit about what I know. It's kind of like a starting point and you can research further. But anyway, so right here in my smoothie, this time I put, uh, I put onion, I put garlic, I put tomato, I put bananas, I put cranberries, I put coconut water, I put olive oil, I put MCT, which is a type of fat. I put a mix of flaxseed, chia seed, and hemp seed. I put some almonds. And that's what I got in here. So real quick, as far as I know, it's gonna give you some, there's a bunch of good stuff in here, way more than I know. But I'll just give you some quick notes about what I know. So the garlic and the onion, they have what's called sulfur compounds and sulfur compounds are super beneficial for your health um, sulfur compounds that's what they're called food with sulfur in it so the onions and the garlic have a lot of sulfur compounds Just look that up uh, it's good for bones as far as i know it's good for like joints actually and it breaks out it, as far as i know it breaks up calcium in the body so calcium is kind of what makes problems with like joints and other things but um all right so we got the sulfur in the onion and in the garlic it's really important and then we also have a bunch of quercetin in the onion as far as i know the onion's really high in quercetin which is a super powerful antioxidant it's called the flavonoid so that's really good you want to have a lot of quercetin in your diet so basically guys and then i got the chia the flax the hemp those are all really good proteins i got the healthy fat because i got some really good olive oil i try to get high quality olive oil uh, that i've said before that i get whatever's available with the olive oil i'm pretty picky if the good stuff's not available i won't buy it and then the mcts are a type of fat so it's like a medium they, they're called medium chain triglycerides so it's like they're short chain medium chain long chain anyways medium chain triglycerides look them up if you want to know more about them but they're really good for you as well the body absorbs them a little different which is beneficial to your health um, so the good proteins in the seeds quercetin now the onion as far as I know the onion you don't want to peel too much of the onion off something like some crazy number like 60 percent of the antioxidants in an onion are in the outer in the most outer um layers so literally if you peel like a, the outer layer of an onion off you're taking a huge chunk of the antioxidants away so you want to leave as much onion as possible because the outer layers are the most powerful parts of the onion now antioxidants the reason i stress so much on antioxidants as far as i know if you want to recover from anything at all if you want to recover from whatever it may be in my case i exercise pretty intensely fair to say i mean i want to get better but compared to how i used to exercise i exercise fairly intensely on a daily basis or regular basis i'd say and if you want to recover your body from anything, including intense exercise, you want antioxidants in your body. As far as I know, there's so many antioxidants. I don't know. I'm just starting to learn about them, but there's a lot. But for example, there's tomato in here. That's lycopene. There's quercetin in here from the onion, like I mentioned. Um, sulfur acts, I believe, like an antioxidant. I'm not exactly sure, but I do know that quercetin and... Uh, quercetin and lycopene from the onion i mean lycopene from the tomato quercetin from the onion are definitely antioxidants and sulfur is super strong so it's really really well i mean really good for recovering 
your body from a bunch of things also the garlic has a bunch of other stuff in it that's really good for you the onion as well but anyways like i said that's just uh quick notes about what i know the banana has tryptophan once you once you like cleanse your digestive system fairly well week after week month after month day after day your body starts absorbing as far as i've experienced your body starts absorbing things better so the bananas besides good fiber the whole thing has good fiber but besides good fiber also from the bananas it also has tryptophan in it and uh tryptophan is taken in by the body and turned into serotonin which makes you happy bananas have all kinds of other good stuff to make you happy in it too but like i said i'm just learning uh the almonds the almonds are a really good source of really good source of vitamin e which is a super strong antioxidant as well i believe it's a fat soluble antioxidant anyways there's an importance to whether it's fat soluble or water soluble look it up i recommend it um and another it, almonds are also a good source of magnesium as well so they're also good in healthy fats just like the seeds are healthy fats olive oil and the mct are healthy fats so we got antioxidants healthy fats good fiber in here um and that's what i that's what i got going on in here the cranberries obviously they're like super awesome once again the antioxidants i can't stress that enough i don't know enough to explain too much about antioxidants but i am going to keep learning and i'll share what i learned anyways peace out